Good evening. How are you all doing? Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. So today I was going to introduce you to the power of coaching. But I wanted to give you a sort of five minute experience through an analogy about what it's like to have a coach. And to do this, I want you to imagine that you are all a captain of your own ship. And all of you are heading to different destinations around the globe. You're all heading in different ways. Some of you have very large ships, some of you very small ships. <laughs> and as you go through the ocean, some of you like the calm seas and you stay near the bay. We like the calm waters, we don't really like going outside of the comfort zone. We like to stay in the sort of safe zone. Other people, we like going into the raging waters. Some venture out into sea, take on the world. There's other people that when they're sailing through the world, take on the sea but actually don't know how rough it is. They're there going, oh no, everything's fine. And you can see everything behind them, it's crashing and burning, it's all going wrong and they're like, oh, everything's fine. Other times, we invite people onto our ship. We think, oh, I'm going to get some crewmates. You invite someone on and then they try and take over and you're like, you know, what are you doing? You have that battle, sometimes you kick them off your ship when you can't deal with them. Relationships cause all sorts of problems on your ship. What else? Well, sometimes we face obstacles in life. We move through, sometimes we face icebergs. Other times there are big mammals that come out. And how do we deal with them? Often we don't know how. Sometimes we go around, sometimes we keep going in circles. We keep running our own patterns. Now, for many of us, on our ship we look through our telescope. And we're there and we can see ahead. But we don't really know what's going on on our ship. We don't know if the anchor's down, things are going wrong, because we're so focused on moving forward. So what do you need? Well, you have to get a parrot. Because a parrot can help you fly ahead of your ship and see what's going on here and look back. They can swirl around your ship and see, you know, you're heading for an iceberg. That's a bad move. Which you may not see if you're looking through your telescope. So, where does this fit into your lives? Well, if you imagine, do average people get a parrot or a coach? Of course not. But the best people do because they know that the parrot is going to look at their ship and think, okay, what can I do to make it go faster? How can I help people move forward? So, a little experiment I have for all of you. I want you all to please reach as high as you can with your hand. Reach as high as you can right now, everyone. Get your hand, reach it up. And now, reach even higher. Reach even higher. That's right. Interesting. So I said reach as high as you can. Good job. And some of you went, others were like, but then when I said reach even higher, some people went, mm. others went like this. That's the power of a coach. And some of us don't realize that. When we're going on and we're going, oh no, I'm doing my best, I'm reaching as high as I can. And just by saying that, I mean, imagine that difference. For some it was huge, for some it was little. Let's just imagine it's just 1%. Let's say you make 1% change every day for a year. So for 365 days. Do you have any idea how big of an effect that will have on your life? 37 times. Because it's combined and they can help you move forward. So from today, I want you to think about what parrots can you look for? There are lots of different parrots that can help you move faster, move forward change the direction and if I happen to join you on your journey I'm very thankful to possibly be a parrot and with that I want to say thank you very much and have a wonderful evening. <laughs>